On Monday, Hungary approved changes to its constitution against the advice of the US and the European Union, who believe it could threaten Hungary's democracy. 265 out of 365 lawmakers supported the legislation. The parliament, dominated by Prime Minister Viktor Obran, pass amendments that include provisions which enable the court system's top administrator and prosecutors to select which judges hear legal cases in a party-line vote. The EU and the Council for Europe revealed in a joint statement that these amendments raise concerns with respect to the principle of rule of law, EU law and Council of Europe standards. Since gaining power in 2010, Orban has been internationally criticised for implementing changes that could threaten the independence of the media, judiciary and other institutions. Critics feel these amendments undermine the Hungarian judicial system. Lydia Gall, the Eastern Europe and Balkans researcher at Human Rights Watch, believes that these changes reflect the Hungarian government's contempt for the rule of law, saying the government's willingness to bypass the constitutional court and subvert the constitution for its own political ends underscores the need for a concerted EU response. Gold thinks it's time for the EU to step up its response, including by giving serious consideration to suspending Hungary's voting rights under Article 7 of the EU Treaty. Investors are also expressing increasing concern for the independence of the central bank after watching Hungary's currency, the foreign, plunge on Monday to its weakest level since June. The new economy minister said the government is preparing to take actions to strengthen the currency, as it does not want the currency to weaken. Well, viewers, that is it for right now, but do stay tuned to Dukoscopy TV as the TV team will keep you up to date with the very latest economic and forex news. But for now, goodbye.